did Eminem diss Benzino on Cole Bennett's new album? The conflict with Benzino happened because Eminem dissed the magazine The Source, which rated the album The Marshall Mathers LP 2 out of 5, and Benzino was one of the authors of the publication. He said that M should have been grateful that in 98, he was in the column of the magazine that gave a boost to his career. Eminem put out one of the best diss tracks called Nail in the Coffin. He ridiculed Benzino all around, including his age, his pseudo-gangsta persona, and his terrible business skills. Later, Benzino released the diss Die Another Day, where the Boston rapper threatened his daughter. The rapper often mentioned Eminem's family and his disses in a pretty negative way. And the most interesting thing happened when Benzino got his hands on the song Foolish Pride, in which Eminem used a racist lingo against African-American women. As a result, it spread all over the media, and M had to apologize and said that at the time he broke up with an African-American woman at the age of 15 and was a stupid, emotional child. The beef came to an end, and in 2012, Benzino said that he was wrong in talking about his family and his diss tracks. Not only was he unable to recover from Nail in the Coffin, he also had to leave the source in 2005. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is Jeff here from this week with JTT. Once again, this is a shout out to Gregory G of thir- Gregory G 1303. This is you, pal. Um, this one talked about how um, the part how this beef got started between Benzema and Eminem. And the Martian Mavis show is like critically acclaimed. I mean, everybody loved the album. I mean, everyone loved it. I mean, everyone. I People from country, heavy metal, club. They love it. <laughs> they love that. They love the, um, the album, believe it or not. But um, Benzema, who was like one of the, um, the guys of Source Magazine, gave like, I thought it was a 4 out of 5, but if I'm correct, they gave him like a 2 out of 5. So Eminem made a diss track to pretty much like, you know, fire right back at it. And they went back at he Eminem made a diss track, then Benzema made a diss track. It went back, forth, back, forth. And um, the reason why he gave Eminem such a low rating because he found some dirt in Eminem saying he used the N when it comes to um, African American women. And I think that's a part of it too. And the reason why he went for a breakup from a black woman, he was 15 years old. Now, here's the thing when we're at that age, we're not the smartest, clearest thinking human beings in the world. And if I'm heard correctly, he don't have the best father figure, if any, if any as a kid. So. Like I said, it's not an excuse. No kids, kids should be, no kids should be using such disgusting language. But long story short, Eminem apologized. But basically, it took a toll on Benzema too because um, I think Nail the Coffin song or album, which the famous heard him, and I think he left Source Magazine in 2005. Long story short, this whole beef got started all because, if I'm reading this correctly, though, this whole beef got started because Ben Zima had a problem with Eminem, you know, taking out his aggression on an uh, ex. Let's face facts, fellas. If we have that one ex that got you so twisted, so messed up at, at such an age, you can say and do some very, 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 very stupid stuff. Trust me on that. That being said, hopefully that this beef will come to a nice, peaceful end and all that stuff. But only time will tell. So... What are your thoughts about this, folks? What do you think? You think this beef should come to an end? You know, about more diss tracks being thrown to each other? So leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Peace.